Two-time world champion Fernando Alonso has a personal grudge against Lewis Hamilton. Whenever given the chance, he criticizes Lewis for his racing, his behavior, or his personality. But where did this grudge come from? What is the history between the two? And what happened in a sauna that was a turning point for their relationship? Stay tuned to find out all of that and more. First, we dive into some background. Two worlds collided in 2007. Lewis Hamilton was on the rise after dominating junior karting and won the GP2 championship in his first season to beat Nelson Piquet Jr. Fernando Alonso is a legendary Formula One driver. He has driven over 300 Grand Prix and won the Drivers' World Championship twice. At the peak of his career, he battled with Kimi Raikkonen and Michael Schumacher for the 2005 and 2006 World Championships. He beat both of them, cementing his place in F1 history as the youngest double world champion. After the Renault years, Alonso signed a three-year deal from 2007 with McLaren, where he would be partnered with rookie Lewis Hamilton. It was an impressive start for Hamilton when he finished on the podium in his very first race. The 2007 season was a three-way battle between Raikkonen, Hamilton, and Alonso. Now we have Hamilton's welcome to F1. Fans of Alonso were not happy about how Hamilton had gotten in the way of Alonso winning the third world championship. In 2008, preseason testing at Barcelona, racist abuse of Hamilton led to a protest from the British government and the FIA had to put the race on probation. It then happened again the following year in 2009. Bernie Ecclestone, who was then still Formula One executive, said that the whole incident was just a joke and that things had been blown out of proportion. The media loved talking about up-and-comer Lewis Hamilton. They dubbed him the Tiger Woods of F1, not just for his talent, but also for his place in opening up the sport for more black drivers. But it wasn't all sunshine. The media also loved to criticize him for his girlfriends, personal life, and his hectic celebrity lifestyle. There were also attacks on his father claiming that he was a bad husband who sacrificed everything for the success of Lewis. Next, the 2007 season. During the 2007 season, there were several scandals for the McLaren team. One of these was the Spygate scandal, where a Ferrari employee and a McLaren employee were caught sharing technical information to the benefit of McLaren. McLaren were fined a whopping $100 million and excluded from the Constructors Championship of 2007 as a result. But this didn't stop their drivers from fighting for the Drivers' Championship. Lewis had one of the greatest rookie seasons of all time. He finished on the podium in his first nine races and won four races that season. Out of the 17 races, Hamilton beat Alonso in seven of them. Not bad for a first day on the job. A lot of tension between the two drivers was the most public of conflicts between the two drivers. At the Hungary Grand Prix, Hamilton was ordered to let Alonso pass him in qualifying, but refused to do so. In retaliation, Alonso blocked Hamilton in the pit line in an effort to impact his time. After winning pole, Alonso was penalized five places for his action, while Hamilton went on to win the race. In the end, Raikkonen won the season by one point over the two McLarens of Hamilton and Alonso. Their fighting between themselves had cost them both the championship. That's why they say teamwork makes the dream work. Next, Alonso's out of here. In November of 2007, Alonso and McLaren ended their contract and Alonso signed a two-year contract with Renault. The deal earned Alonso reportedly $50 million a year, one of the biggest contracts in Formula One. It looked like the competition with Hamilton had pushed Alonso out the door. The battle with Hamilton came to define Alonso's career. It was only downhill for Alonso after 2007. In 2008, in his first year back with Renault, Alonso finished all the way down in fifth place, more than 35 points away from Hamilton at the top. The the season was not easy for Alonso, and he struggled to get any decent results, though did have back-to-back -back wins in Singapore and Japan. But his win in Singapore was tarnished by a cheating scandal. Two laps after Alonso had an early pit stop, his teammate, Nelson Piquet Jr., crashed into a barrier at turn 17. A safety car was brought in, the rest of the drivers pitted, and Alonso was now in fifth place following only cars who hadn't pitted yet. When they did, Alonso was leading the race and went on to win. But a year after the race, it was claimed that Renault had ordered Paquet to crash to give Alonso an advantage. FIA launched an investigation, and the next month, they charged Renault with interfering with a race result. Renault were suspended from Formula One for two years, but Alonso escaped any blame in the scandal. In the meantime, Hamilton had stayed with McLaren and won his first world championship. Alonso's chances of winning had faded, and now his 
image had taken a big hit. Up next, Alonso blames Hamilton. Alonso had won back-to-back -back world championships in 2005 and 2006. He went into the season thinking he could make it three in a row. He was ready to battle with the Ferraris of Raikkonen and Massa, but he didn't expect how strong Lewis would be in his rookie year. Reflecting on this time, Alonso has blamed the McLaren team who didn't guide the young ambitious drivers. He had said that Hamilton coming into the team was an intense time and he made it challenging for everybody. Alonso thinks that Hamilton wasn't ready for the fight between them and that he wasn't performing to the best of his ability. But the former head of Mercedes, Norbert Haag, has said that a lot of the tension was because Alonso couldn't believe that Lewis was keeping up with him in his rookie year. Apparently, Alonso was constantly angry about how well Hamilton was performing and just couldn't accept it. Hamilton has admitted that the relationship between the two caused divisions with the team and a toxic working environment. He also said that it was personal and that their personalities clashed. The two appeared in a television commercial together that made fun of their rivalry. For McLaren, it might have been the only good thing to come out of the rivalry. But for the rest of us, we got to experience an amazing season of Formula One driving between a rookie and a two-time world champion. The bad blood between Alonso and Hamilton has led to some fantastic racing on the track. They have given racing fans some exciting fights. In Canada in 2013, Germany in 2013, and Mexico in 2017. But one of the most iconic was a battle from last season. At the 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix, Hamilton was storming through the field after Mercedes put the wrong tires on his car. He got all the way up to fifth place until Alonso was in front of him. Alonso defended the position with his life. He managed to hold up Hamilton for 12 laps in a far less competitive car. It was because of this that Hamilton was only about to finish third that day and Alonso's teammate Esteban Ocon won the race with a huge upset. But after the race, Alonso said that he defended so strongly against Hamilton to give title rival Max Verstappen a chance of winning the championship. Alonso and Verstappen are not even on the same team. So unless that was a job application for a Red Bull seat, it seems like Alonso is still motivated by ending Hamilton's winning streak. Now we have Alonso's comments. Although Alonso said that he has moved past the conflict they had at McLaren, it seems like any chance he gets to speak about Hamilton's behavior, both on and off the track, Fernando loves to talk to the press about his old teammate Lewis Hamilton, and to offer his perspective on basically anything related to him. Alonso said that the 2017 Drivers' World Championship was too easy for Lewis. Then in 2020, he said that he was only winning because Mercedes gave him the best car, and that none of the drivers were exploiting Hamilton's weaknesses, and how he tends to start the season slowly. He said that he was not impressed by Lewis winning back-to-back -back championships with Mercedes because it is quite easy. And when it came to last season, Alonso didn't hold back either. He said that Verstappen had clearly outperformed Lewis throughout the season. After the controversial finish to the 2021 season, he said that it was only a matter of time before Verstappen won the world championship. Then only a week later, he said that Hamilton had distanced himself from all the other drivers and wore strange clothes in a reference to Hamilton's involvement in the world of fashion. He has called Lewis a hypocrite in his advocacy for climate change action and talked about how the relationship between the two is now colder. But with all the comments Alonso has made about Hamilton, can he really be surprised? What do you think about Alonso and the Hamilton rivalry? And what do you think about all of Alonso's comments over the years? Leave us a comment below and we'd love to know. Thanks for watching and see you next time.